Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFMM. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Shot week this week. You're going to love the four-day weeks, man. I'm digging those, man. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. This is a great card, man. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials tra trading up 80, NASDAQ up 26, S&P's up 10, gold contract up a buck, 17.40 an ounce. You got silver up four cents, $19.23 an ounce platinum, up 19 bucks, trading at a price point of 8.84. You got oil up two bucks at 104.90. Notes and bonds, the 10 year note, down 19 ticks, trading 117.21. The 30 year off of point and a half at 136.29 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 134 ticks, trading at 106.995. Euro is 101. Yen is at 136, and the British pound is at 120 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the way this is looking, folks, you're going to get a, a bounce up. It looks to me like we're going to get a bounce up to the higher swing point. So we're going after the swing point that was established out here on the 28th. And... That's the, the 28th of June. That swing on the S&P is 393.16. Now, we haven't hit it, and that's, that's a good thing if you're bullish in the market, folks, because you're not going to have enough juice this week. But the way this is trading right now, particularly the NDX, I'll get into this in a second. And make a long story short, bottom line, I expect you're going to go after that. I expect, number one, let me just look at these futures for a second. So we take a look at the futures, the S&P futures, and I'm just looking at these because I want to just get an idea of if this thing's going to stick coming into the close. So we take a look at this. You got us. Yeah, well, yeah, this is good. This is good. So we take a look at these S&Ps. This is what you have. Now, watch this. This is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, this is good. This is, gonna, this is actually going to... What you don't want it to do is test the swing today. That's the bottom line. If you're a bull, you do not want to test that swing today. Uh, the way it's looking to me, it's the futures are all, you know, they're only up five and a half right now. But if they stay up five and a half, uh, even to ten, ten and a half, that's going to be fine. You don't, you don't want it to take these highs out. That's the real bottom line. We go into the uh, three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup. The Qs are stronger. The bottom line, they're, they're weaker in the way down, they're stronger in the way up again. What do you have with the Qs? You know, the swing point on the Qs. Um, 296, 5.7, $296.57. You need 54 million shares. Now you can see what's happening here. We're going to get, now this is, this would be the ultimate setup, folks. You don't want it to get to the 296. Oh, it already did. Okay, that's all right. And so the reason it's all right is that we're going into 54 million. We're going to do more than 54 million. We're going to do like 68, 70 million. Um, and if it lays just right there, that's, that's good. That's saying that the Qs will actually get up to this next swing, which is up there at the 303. And right now you're at 295. We go into the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold, bottom line, you know, still see, need some action, okay? Um, right now, gold is trading up a buck 10. No big deal. What we did do is we rejected 1726 this morning. And right now you're at 1740. And what this is all about, this is how this shakes out, man. This is all about the dollar. You, you can really start trading off the dollar, folks. That's the real bottom line. Because what is, what's happened is that the, the market cannot stand a strong dollar. That's the bottom line. You can see what happened this morning. The uh, futures were down. You can almost smell it out because uh, it was just kind of like, okay, man. You know, this dollar got to 107,786. As soon as that starts backing up, the bottom line, that S&P rejected lower price and starts going higher. And we just might have, um, you know, the dollar taking a break for a bit. And if the dollar takes a break and does like, you know, move lower, the bottom line, 
is that you will see um, the market move higher. And, you know, it doesn't negate the ABC structure down. What it does do uh, is give just enough uh, juice uh, to get everyone going. That, that's, that's my take on this deal. We take a look at the bond market. The bond market just continues to want lower price, higher yield. You know, we had the jobs number come out this morning. It was a strong, strong jobs number. That's going to basically, you know, give Paul running room to basically keep banging this uh, interest rate structure out fast and furious. Your next Fed meeting is on the 27th of July. It's a two-day meet. And 27th, they'll come out with the, uh, you know, the meet. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, it's either, the 27th, they come out with the uh, statement to 2 o'clock. Uh, bottom line, I expect what you're going to see here is that you could, you know, do another 0.75 up. And what we do have next Thursday, I believe, is going to be the CPI. The CPI is going to be the number. So on the jobs number this morning, what you had, you had the participation rate go down, <coughs> which in, in fact brings the jobs number higher at simultaneously. So the participation rate, of course, is that what that is, is that that's the aspect of how many people actually want a job. Once you're out of the workforce for a certain amount of time, uh, you are you're dropped off, and that's how the particip participation rate actually goes down. And, uh, you know, we'll see where that shakes out. But uh, percentage-wise, we're not even close to where we're going to be in the long term. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today and see what's moving this market around. You had Advanced Micro, that's up... 21 cents. Um, Ford's up three cents. No big deal. Amazon's down 53. Tesla's up 21 bucks. That's the big mover out there. Uh, Coinbase is up three dollars. Who knows why that is up three dollars? That's like uh, insane. But the bottom line is it's up three bucks. We go take a look at uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. And point wise, what you have out here. Uh, we have United Health, I get, think, is going to be the big one. Yeah, United Health is putting 50 positive points. Amgen 13, Americans Fresh 12. Taken away from it, Goldman minus 9, Salesforce minus 8, Microsoft minus 7. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Come right back, folks.